What's up, Ensven Squad? How are we today? So in our ongoing lore series, we have so far covered the Protheans, seven background races, and a few more things. Today, we're taking a look at the start of it all, the first contact war. Before we begin, don't forget to like the video and subscribe while clicking the bell button so you know whenever I release a new video. All right, let's get into it. The First Contact War, referred to as the Relay 314 incident by the Tyrians, was a small three-month conflict between the Human Systems Alliance and the Tyrian Hierarchy. After discovering the Charon Relay, humans began a rapid expansion thanks to their newfound connection to the Mass Relay Network. Hoping to expand their territory and driven by immense curiosity about the galaxy, they began activating every Mass Relay they could find. However, in 2157, their actions caught the notice of the Tyrians, who found human explorers reactivating an inactive mass relay known as Relay 314. This was forbidden under the Citadel regulations after the so-called Rachni Wars. But instead of negotiating, the Tyrians opened fire. During the conflict, one starship escaped to warn the Alliance and a retaliatory force was sent from the Soul System and destroyed the Turian vessels. From here, the situation quickly escalated into war. To the Turians, it was merely a police action against an ignorant species violating Council law. To humanity, it was their first encounter with another intelligent race, and it would shape their views of the galaxy for decades to follow. The Occupation of shang -Xi. Not knowing what enemy they faced, at first, some humans wondered if these aliens might be Protheans. Humanity sent probes into Tyrian space, armed with nuclear fusion warheads to prevent the probes from providing dangerous insights into human technology. With humanity's resources stretched thin due to exploration efforts, the Tyrians managed to defeat several scout and patrol fleets. However, there were also extraordinary acts of human bravery. A soldier named Thaddeus Ahern was sent with a small squad to retrieve a data module, only to be beset by dozens of Tyrian soldiers. With just a couple of defense turrets to aid them, a small strong point and no cover, Ahern and his men managed to fight the Tyrians off for five minutes until their evac arrived. Eventually, the Tyrians broke through to attack shang -Xi, the closest human colony to the mass relay, and settled in for a protracted orbital siege. With the Tyrians in a superior position, able to kill any human soldiers from above, the shang -Xi defenders began to starve. Eventually, General Williams, Ashley Williams' grandfather, was forced to surrender the shang -Xi garrison. The Tyrians, who were also suffering logistical problems as they had to ship in all their food, believed they had defeated the bulk of the enemy forces. But they would be proven wrong when a month later, Admiral Castagny Drescher led the 2nd Fleet against shang -Xi catching the Turians by surprise and evicting them from the planet. The Turians and humans prepared for a full-scale interplanetary war, drawing the notice of the rest of the galaxy. Fortunately, the Citadel Council then intervened to negotiate the peace and bring the war to an end. From the Council, humans learned of the existence of the Citadel, and that there were many more sapient races in the galaxy who coexisted peacefully. In the end, only 623 human lives were lost with slightly more Turian casualties. The only notable engagements were the Turian attack on shang -Xi and its subsequent liberation by human forces. There were political and cultural ramifications for both sides. Humanity's first contact with an alien race would later create a bad reputation for humans on the Galactic Forum as aggressors. Ah, a human. Your kind is always shoving your way in to solve the galaxy's problems, aren't you? And create the climate of xenophobia amongst the Alliance public. This led to the emergence of extreme pro-human groups like Terra Firma and later Cerberus. However, the First Contact War also demonstrated humanity's extraordinary military capabilities, which drew the interest of the Council. For their part, the Tyrians were ordered by the Council to pay heavy reparations for the Alliance. Veterans of both sides would harbor mistrust for a long time. Saren Arterius, the main villain of Mass Effect 1, nurtured a hatred for humanity for the death of his brother and became an outspoken critic of a human policy. In recent years, though antagonism remains, relations improved slightly. The two races were now trade partners and the construction of the SSV Normandy, which was designed and built by engineers of both races, began to mend the antagonism between humans and Tyrians. 
Fun fact, the comics Mass Effect Evolution actually explains the origins of the elusive man and Cerberus, and we're told that he participated in the First Contact War. Since he is the founder of Cerberus, a pro-human organization, it has become pretty apparent that the Tyrians were the cause of his mistrust and hatred of other species. But we see more of the Reapers and their connection with the elusive man. If you have a chance to give it a read, do so. It's pretty good. Thank you for watching, Ensven Squad. Now I realize that this video was a little bit on the short side, but I don't want to fill these videos out with too much fluff, in case you just want to have the gist of what happened. So there you have it. Also, don't forget to subscribe as I said in the beginning. Let's make Mass Effect Legendary again.